Hey guys, it's Geruda here for Phonelicious and today let us unbox the Moto E5 Plus. I have been using this mobile for a little over 2 weeks now, so let me also tell you my review of this mobile phone in this video. Moto E series is the economically priced mobile phone range from Motorola. Traditionally, the Moto E mobiles have been a very basic entry level mobile phones. But now this Moto E5 Plus looks a lot like the G series whereas the G series by themselves looks like the X series in Motorola mobile phones. But first, before talking about the design of this mobile, let me unbox the mobile phone for you. The box looks pretty and bright in orange. Inside the box, apart from the mobile phone, you would find a back case fitted onto the mobile phone already, user manual, SIM ejector pin, USB cable, a turbo charger which is a 15W turbo charger and a very basic pair of headphones. The Moto E5 Plus has a shiny glass plastic body which is a fingerprint magnet. But it looks really elegant and has a way better stylish signature than the other mobile phones in its segment. It is a heavy mobile at 200 grams. It is also thick and the thickness is due to the 5000mAh battery under the hood. The mobile phone is not completely resistant to water but it is splash proof. At the bottom, the Moto E5 Plus has a micro USB port and a mic. The top has a 3.5mm audio jack and a noise cancelling mic. On the right side, you would find the power and the volume buttons. On the left side, you would find a SIM card tray which can house in two SIM cards and a SD card at the same time. The front has an 8 megapixel camera with flash. Also, the earpiece doubles as the speaker. At the back, you would find a 12 megapixel single camera with a laser assisted focus. The design looks like it has a dual camera setup but actually it has only one camera. The motor dimple now doubles up as the fingerprint sensor as well. The mobile phone does not have face unlock as of now. The display is a 6 inch IPS LCD panel but it is a 720p display. Nevertheless, it is a full vision display. The display is bright and legible at most lighting conditions. However, a full HD display at this price range would have been good. The camera app is very simple, it does not have a lot of features but it has a professional mode for both front and the rear camera. It also has slow motion, panorama and auto HDR features. As mentioned earlier, it is not a dual camera setup and it has no portrait mode in it. It is a basic camera and it behaves like one. The images are sharp and the colors are good if the light is abundant. Low light images have noise and occasionally focusing is a problem. The front and rear camera can shoot videos up to 1080p. The rear camera also has electronic image stabilization for a smooth and stable footage. Moto E5 Plus is powered by a Snapdragon 435 processor. It has 3GB of RAM and 32GB of internal storage. This is a very basic mobile phone with basic performance for basic applications and games. I don't expect this mobile phone to handle heavy games but I did try my luck with Asphalt 8 and also PUBG. While playing both these games, I figured out that this mobile phone can handle these games but with occasional stuttering and frame drops. Not a smooth experience but definitely this mobile can handle any of the basic games which you can throw at it. By the way, this mobile phone does not have the gyro or the magnetic compass sensor. Moto E5 Plus runs on plain pure vanilla Android just like any other Motorola mobile phones in the past. But this one runs the Android 8.0 which is not the latest version. The usual Moto features like the chop chop to turn on the flashlight, twist to open the camera are all missing. The Moto app is limited to a few gestures and Moto display features. Overall, the UX is clean as it is plain stock Android experience. In my review period, I found that the mobile phone does not lag unnecessarily and it is able to handle basic applications and games which you would normally use in your day-to-day -day life. The highlight or the unique selling point of this mobile phone is its battery. It has a 5000 mAh of battery and this battery can make this mobile phone last for over 2 days on a single charge. In my video looping test, I got about 8-9 to nine hours of screen on time. The Moto E5 Plus is made for one purpose and that is the battery. It is for those who need a very basic entry level mobile phone but with a large battery life. But again, if you look further and if you are willing to shell a few more rupees, you can get the Redmi Note 5 Pro 
which has a 4000 mAh battery and overall a better mobile phone than this. But if you are looking for a stock Android experience and very particular about buying a Motorola branded mobile phone, go for the Moto E5 Plus and the battery life will please you.